Welcome back to channel everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can run your Power Apps Connected flow with elevated privileges using Power Automate. I have a scenario wherein I want to send an email notification on this Power Apps button click to set up users or individual users. But what happened is whenever a flow is connected with a Power Apps, it take the connection reference of the logged in user so that means if i run this power apps whatever flow is connected with this power apps will take the reference of my account hence if i'm sending an email the from address will be my address so that's the scenario we want to avoid we want to send an email from a specific email account right how to avoid that let's just talk about on this button click i have already integrated a power apps elevated flow and that flow I have taken an email input, which will be our this uh, combo box selected users email. And after that, I'm sending an email to a person email, which we have captured from here. And then there is text in subject and text in body, right? One thing to notice here is we have used power apps V2 connector here. So this connector has the capability of elevated privileges so use this connector whenever you are using and on the on select property of this button i am capturing the data card value one dot selected email it will be sent to my power automate as an input so let's just run this flow right if i type a username here let's suppose i type a username and send this email I'll go to that specific user outlook. If you can see, please check your email address. In the two sections, the person name is there and the from address is the person who is logged into the Power Apps. And this will change if I run that same Power Apps with this user account. Now I'll go to my Power Apps, which is already there. And if uh, I try to send an email to myself from this user account the from address will be changed if i go here i received an email in two there is my name but in the from section the email address changed i'll go to my power automate and in the bottom right there is one option run only users if i click on this one and ask you to invite user or groups. Let other run this flow and see the result, but not add it in any way. So what you can do is you can provide the email address of an individual or a service account, wherein you want to send email every time this flow run. Right, in my case, I have already given that. By default, it is provided by run only users. You can select, I have two connections already there. So I will use this LT dev here. Click OK, save this. And once this is done, I will go to my power apps again. And now this time I'm sending an email to the same person with my user account, but the from address will be changed this time. I'll go to the email of that specific user and you can see that the two address is that username and the from address is ltdev because I have selected that into my Power Automate. And now I try to run the same Power Apps from here with this user account, send email. I'll go to my Outlook here. As you can see, the from address changed here as well. And in the flow itself, when you try to create an instant cloud flow, this run only users option will be available to this instant cloud flow only not with the automated and scheduled flow as of now for automated and scheduled flow you can uh, use send email from shared mailbox that is one options available for you i hope you like this video if you do like don't forget to subscribe to on tech thank you so much for watching